Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Mr. Eric Stanbury We're coming to you from Gulf Coast Christian Connection. That's right. Gulf Coast Christian Connection here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast where we bring in you the best in Christian entertainment, Christian education, and Christian talk here on Mississippi Gulf Coast. I am Mr. Eric Stanbury, your host for New Dawn Community Network. That's right. New Dawn Community Network here on Mississippi Gulf Coast was bringing you the best in local artists there is on the Mississippi Gulf Coast and we are just happy to be with you and everything that it takes for us to just be a part of what you are here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast and abroad. Well tonight we're going to be talking to an individual from uh, Louisiana. We've talked to him before and interviewed him and talked to him and everything. He's becoming a regular. We might even start doing a show together weekly. Uh, that's none other than Mr. Frank Thompson. Mr. Frank Thompson from Slidell Louise and how are you doing tonight, Mr. Thompson? I am wonderful. How are oh, you? Oh, excuse me, afternoon? excuse me. I forgot the junior. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> All right. How are you doing tonight, Frank? Man, wonderful. Having a great day. All right. Well, how's everything been going so far? Give me some updates. Everything is, everything is going well. Just working hard. Working uh, I, well, continuously. We, you know, we discussed that once hard. before about the hard work. Yeah. Huh? You might work constantly, but I don't think you work too hard. Working yeah, hard is not in the plan. Constantly working. Yeah, All constantly right. working. Working hard is not, We work smart. We don't work hard. You know, when I was a kid, uh, uh, I worked with my dad. My dad had a gardening business. And uh, so some of the guys around the uh, neighborhood, they called me Easy Money. Uh -huh. uh, uh, because because I I'd get work done, but I I wouldn't I learned how to my daddy taught me the ropes how to get things done you know work the work don't let it work you you know yeah. so they called me easy money so uh so 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 uh, I guess I I still can hold that title that uh, I I I I work constantly but I take it easy hey ain't nothing wrong with that that's the way you do it that's oh, the, yeah. that's how, that's how rich people get rich and. Wealthy that, people get wealthier, it. you know. That's one of the keys. <laughs> one, one of the things they say in money manages that you, you you let your money work for you and you don't work for your money. That's it. You have to oh, use right. and and you have to learn to use OPM. Oh yeah, That's other people's money. All other right. people's <laughs> money. <laughs> you got the trick, bro. You know what's going down. Okay. Anyway, yeah. we're gonna talk about the night enter peace. Okay. Yes. We, we we brought that up, and we have some questions that we're going to bring up a little later. But that inner peace, and we're going to come from that uh, John chapter 14 and verse 24, where Jesus said, "Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not yes. as the world giveth, giveth I unto you. Let mm -hmm. not your heart be troubled, neither mm -hmm. let it." be afraid that's the script that that's the uh, environment that we're going to be coming from tonight while talking about interpeace but first of all before that let's look at this <laughs>
as I meditate, I pray for my friends. As I meditate, I pray for my neighbor. I say, oh, 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 oh. as I meditate, I thank the Lord because he's been so good to me. As I meditate, I say, thank you, Lord. I say, oh, oh. Hey, all right. That was a good sound, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, and that's a good, good, good um, song to start off our conversation because, you know, in order to understand and get that inner peace, you got to be able to meditate on the word, which means you have to yes. be silent. You have to focus on um, on what he's saying to you, what the Lord is saying to you so that you can get that thing straight. A lot of people, uh, they don't do that, you know. You know, silence is something um, that's misunderstood. Um, I was told a long time ago that uh, people who love chaos are people who have to constantly have noise. But when you have constant noise, it's impossible to focus and meditate on God if you have something else coming into your ear at the same time. I love to listen to that old school music. I love to listen to that. Uh, one of my favorites is uh, uh, Michael Franks and uh, uh, I like Earth, Wind, Fire and uh, the OJs, et cetera. Uh, the, this band called Full Play. I listen to them a lot. They're one of my go-tos. But when I need to meditate, I need total silence. And uh, a lot of people, they, they misunderstand, they're afraid of silence. But when I am quiet, when I am solid, I, that's the, the point that God can come in and speak to me and I hear instru instructions clearly. Well, you know, that word meditate does mean silent. Yeah. It does. Well, let's get on into this thing here. And that first question that we're going to dive into is what is inner peace mm -hmm. inner peace which comes from within um i dug in some scripture after we spoke earlier you told me uh some questions that you were going to ask and uh, i found philippians 4 and 67 where it says do not be anxious for nothing about nothing but uh, everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And that is the, if if you uh, ask me, is one of the core scriptures as opposed, as, as well as uh, scriptures of John, where Jesus is instructing that I give you my uh, peace. Be anxious for nothing. That I, I run into people all the time you have a misunderstanding of which direction you're going on the road, on the highway. Uh, you want to pass someone. You're trying to make a turn. And they, they throw their hands in the air because they misunderstand what you want to do and you're in their way because they're in a, hurry, in a hurry to do whatever it is they need to do. And it could be no more than just going by a friend's house or going to the grocery store. And they're anxious all the time. They, they're always on the edge to... Get wherever they gotta go to do whatever they and everybody's in their way and they're anxious to, to just I gotta get there I gotta have this uh, new product comes out on the market I gotta have that product etc cetera, etc cetera. and but the Bible instructs us to be anxious for nothing but in everything with prayer and supplication talk to God 
let your request be made known unto him. Hey, now, Frank, mm -hmm. when it yes. says, let that request be made, what kind of requests are we talking about in order to get this into peace? Uh, whatever that thing is that you're praying for. It could be the smallest thing as, allow me to pass that test. Lord, help me to uh, pass that test that I have to pass at school. Uh, it could be, uh, Lord, there's a particular job I want, or there's a career move I want to make. There's a uh, request could be, it's different for, from person to person. Mm -hmm. now, is, now, is there a time frame on that, or is it whenever God decides that it's time for it? Whenever God decides. Now, now, now. You can request that, Lord, on the 1st of May, I desire, and I still up to God. But if you um, pray, meditate, seek God, have faith, not only in God, but yourself, and believe, and if you perform the right task, the right uh, uh things in place, the right steps that you need to get from here to your date, it can happen. God can move at your request, but it, it takes certain things so, in so order what you're, to achieve that. So what you're saying saying is that that there's an interconnection between that inner peace and the faith of God. Because you know that yes. faith is a substance of things that are hoped for. Hope for. And the evidence, and the of, things evidence not seen. of things not seen. So yes. you can't see it. So you can't yes. see faith in itself. Because faith operates or work, what, in the background or work in the spiritual. And yes. It, but, it, but, but it is controlled by the Lord. Yes. So, so yes. and he and he said, uh, you know, David said that uh, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or the forsaken. children beg for bed, prayer right. and, and, mm -hmm. and any time that we have a request we just make it known now the problem is what we I think a lot of times fail to understand is that God is on the outside of time mm -hmm. and his time is not our time what do no. you say about that no no his time is not our time but we can move God through our faith and our belief, our prayer, uh, and supplication, and knowing what we want. Well, you know, the other part of that is that once you make that request known, once you make that request known, then it says that the peace of God, that surpasses yes. all understanding. All so, understanding. So what, what we're saying is that that inner peace is something that we don't understand. Yeah. You know, but, but you know, in the big scheme of things, the understanding of God himself requires wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And understanding. Yeah. We, we, one, one thing my mother taught me, I'll never forget. Uh, she said it to me. Oh, Lord, she must have said it a hundred times if she didn't say it once. She said, boy, you have to pray for uh, uh, wisdom and understanding. And that is something great there, I'll never forget, because you can pray for wisdom and you don't have no understanding. You need the combination of both to have wisdom and then to understand. It, it is like icing on a cake. Well, then that, like bring, that, br that, brings uh, us to, that brings us to our second question there, which is, mm -hmm. uh, why is it important to have inner peace? It is important to have inner peace because with inner peace, you can uh, accomplish anything. You can do anything if you have inner peace. You so, are unstoppable. So we're saying that you're saying that inner peace is unstoppable and that you can do anything with it. The it makes you unstoppable it, it allows you to be yes unstoppable but, but but you know you know the scripture says this the scripture says that mm -hmm. uh, uh i can do all things through christ mm -hmm. jesus that strengthens me so that inner peace philippians 4 and 13 
Yeah, if it, that that inner peace mm -hmm. is the strength that you receive from the Christ when mm -hmm. you when when you think you ain't when you think you're weak, because Paul said when I'm weak, that's when I'm my strongest. Yes, it 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 helps you build self confidence and mental power and the mental power to accomplish anything. Right. Yes. Now 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 also what we understand is that that inner peace comes along and what you said earlier about that and how we interject that uh, peace inner peace into um, into the faith and then that mm -hmm. second question is the second question that we brought up there of why is it important well it's important mm -hmm. because it says without faith you cannot please God right mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that faith, that the faith, the faith of God, brings about with it different attributes of things. Am I right? Yes. Now, just over in Galatians 5, it tells us that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, faith, meekness, mm -hmm. temperance. Yes. Of such, there is no law. Those yeah. are the things that come along with that that that. that, uh, that that, that that's what the Holy Spirit brings when we go back mm -hmm. to John chapter 14 20 27 that's mm -hmm. act, Jesus actually talking about the Holy Spirit because he said when I he said I have to go so that the mm -hmm. comforter could come mm -hmm. the comforter being the Holy Spirit that leading God and bring you to all understanding and what yes. he does when he brings he brings the fruit of the Spirit so therefore we goes back to that peace and like we said earlier peace requires silence so when we yes. put our trust in him, he provides us with the Holy Spirit. Then we can be silent and see mm -hmm. things as they are and not as we want them to be. Yes. But the next question is, and, and mm -hmm. I think this is important, is that <clears throat> how do you get it? How do you get that inner peace that you're talking about? You get that inner peace through prayer and supplication uh uh just as i gave that scripture uh um uh, isaiah 26 and 3 uh thou will keep you him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee it takes trust see we read the scripture and then we won't get the second half of it because the, the beginning part of it sounds so good. Uh, uh, Isaiah 26 and 3, uh, King James Version. Right. Uh, that, will, that will keep him in perfect peace, comma, whose mind is stayed on thee, semicolon. The third part is because he trusted in thee. It takes trust in God, let's go backwards now, to keep your mind on him. Let's read that backwards. Uh, the, the beginning part is that I will keep him in perfect peace. The second part of that, then that's a comma, whose mind is stayed on thee. And then the third part and last part of that scripture, verse 3, it says, because he trusted in him. Now let's read it backwards. Right. Because he trusts in him, uh, uh, whose mind, the person who trusted in him is the one who keeps his mind on him, who is thee, who is God we're referring to. He says, thou will keep him in perfect peace. When you read that backwards, it's like a code. You, we're reading it forward, but when you read it backwards, then it, it gives a little more impact. And so the key to having this perfect peace is God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Ghost. Well, but you, well, you, you have to trust. You have to trust in him. And you have to keep your mind on him. And, and that, bring have, up a, that bring uh, up a point. That bring up the point. Because go ahead. what you're saying is scriptorial. You know, it's scriptorial oh, yeah. in Ephesians over in Ephesians chapter 1. And in mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 1, at verse right around verse uh, 12, 
Well, starting at 11, mm -hmm. it says, on whom, on whom we have attained an inheritance, mm -hmm. being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his mm -hmm. own will, that mm -hmm. we should be that we should be to the praise of the glory who first trusted Christ. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then it goes on to say in the 13th verse, whom trust ye who in whom ye trusted after mm -hmm. that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and whom mm -hmm. also after that believe mm -hmm. yet yet were sealed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So that's mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Uh, is that what you're talking about? Basically. Basically. Basically? The, well, I, was, I've, met, I've met people who are, uh, I've met, well, yes, yes, the answer is yes. I said basically I had thoughts running through my head as you were uh, reading. Now, uh, mm -hmm. going back to the initial question of how did you get it, if mm -hmm. we go to Romans 10 and 9, it says, mm -hmm. that Thou shalt confess with thy mouth, Lord Jesus. And believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be thou saved. Thou shalt be saved, yes. For, the, for, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and mm -hmm. with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Now, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, uh, that's it. That's all mm -hmm. that's required from what I gather. Mr. Frank Thompson Sr. taught me a valuable lesson when I was coming up, and I never forget, and I still live by it. I trust everyone until that individual gives me a reason not to trust them. Right. And and I feel um I feel so much peace about that type of mindset. So then I don't walk around on edge thinking that everybody's out to get me. Right. That, not, is, yeah, yeah, that not, is a not sad. Sa saying that is a fair. That is a sad state right. of mind Sa saying, to saying think that, that everybody is that out you to don't, get you. Saying that you don't trust intentions of people does not mean that mm -hmm. you are afraid of what's going on. It just gives you that 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 that, that peace of mind to be able to evaluate mm -hmm. and meditate on what people are telling you, because you know that there are people out there. Who doesn't have? Who don't have your best interests at heart? You know. That's right. You know. That's so, right. And, and so and we everybody... put up these brick walls. We put up these brick walls to protect us. But right. see, that's where you have that defining line. And I put my trust totally in God that He's going to lead me, guide me, and protect me. If I believe that God is going to do those things, then I could lower my Guard, that's something that we say to people all the time. Be careful. You can ask one million people, what is the definition of being careful? How do you be careful? And most people will look dumbfounded. And they cannot explain. And then you're going to have a million different opinions on what being careful is. Well, being careful, being careful is mm -hmm. no more than, than Psalms, uh, uh, 20, the 25th Psalm. Uh, because it says you yea do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thy rod mm -hmm. and thy staff will comfort me and that's mm -hmm. what that inner peace does that inner peace comforts comforts you from your surroundings and keep you focused which keeps you grounded mm -hmm. that's what and and that's what uh, uh, inspire people to want mm -hmm. to be a part of what you have because they, they see you in regards to the situation or circumstances you're in and I'm talking about those who are in Christ. You don't get mm -hmm. upset. You don't. You, you 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 deal with it. You deal with it as it comes at you, and don't put too much into it. That and that's that inner peace that you get from being a child of God. Now now uh, uh, going back to that 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 question of um, how do you get it? Well, mm -hmm. uh, that Romans ten thirteen says, "Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved." Mm -hmm. Okay, and 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 being called by the name of the Lord, being whosoever, if you mm -hmm. call upon the name of the Lord, that means he he he, he protects you. Mm -hmm. And and the primary person that he protects you from is yourself. Yes. 
You know, most people I find are their worst enemies. Right. Yes. So let's move on to that last question. And that last question, this last question that we got, it's a, it's a, it, it caused a lot of controversy within the um, Christian community. And mm -hmm. I, I want to hear what you have to say about that. And that question is, can you lose the inner peace? Oh, yes. 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 And and I and that question that 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 question is asked because of all the intricate parts of it, concern you mm -hmm. know con including the, well, uh, the the fruits of the spirit, because if you can because peace being one of the fruits of the spirit, mm -hmm. if we then say that we can lose then and I'm just throwing this out there you know I don't know mm -hmm. what your your understanding of it, we have to be mm -hmm. careful when we say that so give me your your um understanding or your revelations about that last question of can mm -hmm. you lose that inner peace yes you can definitely use your lose your inner peace uh, oh. and the major cause of losing a major reason you can lose your inner peace is through distractions distractions uh, I think it was T.D. Jakes that I'm going to uh, quote here who uh, said in uh, one of his books that I read that um, tell me your dreams and I can I'm trying I'm not I'm trying to I'm paraphrasing tell me what you want to accomplish in life tell, tell me your dreams your uh, what you what you want to do what you want to achieve and I can I can stop the forward movement I could, I could, I could destroy your dreams simply by distracting you, and this is what the devil uses. Uh, uh, whenever you do anything, have anything that you want to accomplish, a simple distraction, a family member, a friend, what's going on in, in the news, uh, what's going on on Facebook, and this is what happens to most people, and they lose that that inner peace because. So many people have dreams and they'll say, I want to do this with my life. I want to become this. I want to become that. We're told that education, education, education. And then people spend so much time with education that when they finish, then they're not qualified or they're, they'll say they're overqualified. They're overqualified for the job. And then so then they get distracted from their goals because now you've wasted all this time investing in something and you have a big bill from the education. And so then now a lot of people, instead of staying on that straight path of where they say they want to go, they get distracted from all of this. And then they go off and then they're working for some other company and they never reach their goal. They never reach their full potential because of the distractions of, so, of, so, of the path. So you're in your understanding you can this being distracted can cause you to lose your inner peace for which the lord has given you yes okay yes. Distractions, now, 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 if i can uh, if i if i can go ahead. Uh, um uh i use the word challenge if i can challenge that from a scriptural mm -hmm. point of view not not from what i think or what i feel but what the scriptures say so mm -hmm. in with that scenario knowing mm -hmm. that peace and the peace mm -hmm. of god is mm -hmm. one of the fruits of the spirit so yes. are we saying are you saying that you can lose the fruits of the spirit no you can't lose the well fruits listen of to the spirit uh that's a gift from god okay but well, i'm just saying that is, well mm -hmm. the, his peace is the gift that he gave it back if we go back to john uh 14 mm -hmm. 27 he mm -hmm. said my peace i give you and let yes. not your heart be true so but mm -hmm. but once again the fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, mm -hmm. gentleness, mm -hmm. goodness, faith, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. meekness, temperance, of which there is no law. So yes. my, my, my question to what you just mm -hmm. said about distractions is that mm -hmm. if we if, are we time, is there a separate kind of peace between the peace that is given by the fruits of the spirit? Is in, no, in other words, but you, have, inner, to, but you have to have all those elements. You have to have all of those elements in place together. Right. So, but you, but, it's but like they can't a well-oiled engine. It's like a well-oiled engine. 
if you take part of the operation of the motor, then the motor doesn't run smoother. Absolutely. So, so the fruits of the spirit, you have, you just can't, you, <clears throat> you have to have all of them yes. operating, operating. Yes. Yes. Uh, 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 in order for them to function the way they're supposed to function. Yes. Right. Now, yes. the fruits of the spirit is something that is given to you by God. And if I'm not mistaken, it is continuously controlled by God. We don't control the fruits of the Spirit, do we? No, no, no. So, no, no, no. So, but because, so because it, God gave us a free will. A free will to do what, though? To, to, to do, to have, I have the right to believe or not to believe. Okay, I understand that. I have that. A, 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 that, a, a, that, that, that is the, that is the free man. will. The right to believe mm -hmm. or not to believe. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, once you believe, mm -hmm. then what? Do you have the right at some point to unbelieve? Yes. So then you're That's not your freedom. Are you? That, but then, that, that, but then mm -hmm. are you who you say you are? You are who you say you are. But so if because I say, God if I say, gave if I, us that, God gave us that freedom to choose and because he gave right. us that I understand, that. I understand that I understand that but once you uh, but, but once you made the choice mm -hmm. the choice is either to to believe <coughs> or unbelieve or not believe mm -hmm. how many choices do you get to make in that process you have the freedom I've seen people in my lifetime they grow up and they believe in one denomination and then someone witnesses to them and then so they'll change their denomination in the middle of life and then be start believing another denomination they believe in god the father uh the one uh most people can't call uh, god then they'll start believing in jehovah who is the same god but they'll their faith because someone witnessed to them and then there are people who will say uh well i believe in yahweh who is the same God, but because someone, so uh, it's our understanding and our mental attitude that makes the difference. Oh, okay. Okay. So once the, and my under, and the understanding is that once, uh, um, once, once you believe, once you said that, um, once you say to the Lord, Okay, because that's who you're confessing to, the Lord. That, uh, and you understand that you're saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and has been converted, and has been called out of darkness into the marvelous light, and and has become a royal priest, a part of the royal priesthood within the kingdom of God, where we have said that we are to do whatever God wants us to do, when He wants us to do it. And how mm -hmm. he wants us to do it, without question. Mm -hmm. That free will gives us the opportunity, the capability to question God. It's not a questioning of God. It's like the story about the prodigal son, right. who had every, who had everything, right. And he, the, his distraction was that that uh, well, if I get all my money now I'm a young man and if I go do what I want when I want how I want that I'm going to enjoy he didn't understand that his protection and his covering was his dad right and if he stayed under the father and 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 focus and have the right mental attitude that life would run a lot smoother than if I just take over because I think I'm big and bad enough that I can do this by, by myself and I don't need my dad. I don't need this covering. So then when he got out, the distraction was what I see out in the world. All right. That was his distraction. And so when he got out there and then and he made the choice, he lost his inner peace. He lost his protection. He lost his covering. He lost everything that he had 
that was designed that God had put in place for him, born into a rich family. He lost everything that, that he had. And it wasn't until he came to himself. Thank you. That's the big issue there. The big issue he is came to when, himself. when he came to himself. Now, when yes. he came to himself and recognized, mm -hmm. okay, and recognized where he had yes. came from. Yes. Isn't that the same thing that we, we, uh, um, we go through? God leads yes. us through our life. And then at one, Paul said over in Galatians that I was yet in mm -hmm. my mother's womb until the mm -hmm. father revealed the son to me. He had that mm -hmm. revelation of who Jesus was, which is the same thing with the prodigal son. Now, when he went, mm -hmm. he said, let me go back home because uh, back at mm -hmm. home, my father's servants are treated better yes. than this. Now, when he got yes. back home, when yes. he got back home, there's no indication yes. that he ever did what he did before. Because why? Right. Because he came into himself. And when he came into himself, he became a new creature. Yes. Old things have passed away. Passed away. So, so, so that, that goes back to what I was saying about what, what we were saying before. And we talk about that will that, that, that was being taught. Yeah, you have a will, but once you make that choice. See, when he left mm -hmm. to go out there, he, he didn't have anything to compare right. with the goodness of his father. Once he had something to compare, right. then he, yes. made, uh, he made the choice that, hey, yes. I need to get back home where, where, where mm -hmm. I belong. So, 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 so that inner peace that we talk about, that's mm -hmm. what we acquire when we put mm -hmm. our trust in him and come into the yes. understanding of who we are in him. Yes. So, so, so that, that, that's, that's good. That made good conversation there, bro. That's good conversation. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let's and hold that, hold, and, hold and, that, hold that, hold, hold that until we come back right after this. Okay. okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Hmm?
thing. Yes. That was hey, that's My new music. Is that new music? Yes, that's the latest song that I released, and All I'm right. uh, now promoting uh, that song. Yeah, I'm. When if, I if somebody wanted to, to get, in, if someone wanted to get in contact with you, how could they do it? If you go to my website, uh, and that is there's a Frank Thompson Music dot com, and you got it right, Frank Thompson Music dot <laughs> com. If you go to Frank Thompson Music dot com or google frank thompson music uh, uh my website should come up and at the last page there's a contact frank thompson and it'll go straight to my uh gmail account now and my you'll be able to my last question yeah. before we close mm -hmm. this out mm -hmm. you are you produce your own movie music yes I know once yes. uh, when we first met, you you told me that you played all the instruments on just about all your your music. Yes, I got in trouble as a kid, uh, about ten years old or so. I was going around the room playing all the instruments, trying everybody's instrument. I was getting notes out of horns, and I'm playing the drums, and I'm doing a little bit of everything. And so my band teacher showed up one day. My dad was in the backyard working this little workshop, and uh, the band teacher pulled up, and when he saw him. Uh, immediately, if a school teacher showed up at your house, you know it's like, oh, okay, you're in trouble. You're in, tr you're you're in trouble wrong. now. You you done done something, yeah. And so I was out there uh, playing out in the street and playing ball with friends. We used to do that when we were kids. Nowadays, kids lock up in rooms and play on computers. But we played out in the street when right. I was coming up and, and playing with balls and stuff and so forth. And uh, um, uh, so my uh, band teacher pulled up. His name was Lester Wright. God rest his soul. And he uh, said, boy, go get your daddy. And so I went and called my daddy. So when I went in the back, he said, Mr. Wright, want to talk to you? He said, boy, what you done done? And I'm like, oh, Lord. I said, I ain't done nothing. You know, as a kid, you know, I don't know what's going on yet because he hadn't presented whatever he had on his mind. So we get out there. And he said, uh, he said, uh, no, he hadn't uh, misbehaved. He said, uh, the problem with him is that he goes around the room and he wants to play everybody's instrument. And I need him to stick to one, find one that he wants to play and stick to that one instrument. And uh, that was the conversation. So uh, also my dad said, well, boy, yeah, you got to find one that you want to play. And she did because you wind up being a jack of all and master of none. So when I did my first smooth jazz recording, uh, there's a, a fella years ago when I was a teenager, uh, it was a group uh, uh, called the Captain and Tennille. And uh, also Stevie Wonder is another person who inspired me. Uh, in the beginning of Stevie's career, he basically played all the instruments. They recorded him at, from one instrument to the next, and he was playing all those instruments. The Captain did a video a live uh, a show where he got on the congos first and he stopped playing the congos. Then I think he moved over to the bass. And so they had everything tracked out that the instruments would play after he would play a part in the beginning. Then he got on the drums and he got, so he had his rhythm section along with his bass line. Then he got on the keyboard, which I believe was the Fender Rose at that time, and they kicked all the other instruments in, and he played the song that he, and I saw that, and that blew my mind, that he played all of the instruments. And so it was the captain from Captain and Tennille Group, and it was Stevie Wonder that inspired me to play all of the instruments. And so now, it's such a great benefit to me because when I want to get a song done, I can come in this room and within minutes have a, an idea that I'm being inspired by and complete that idea. And I can complete something. When I have to wait on other people and you at the mercy of other people, then what you might want to get done today may not get done until months later because people will say, hey, uh, well, I have to look at my schedule and I'll get back with you. And then they'll say, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, but they're not actually working on it. They're not actually touching it at all. And so it's a blessing to be able to play all the instruments. And not, not only that, 
not only that, yes. they, don't, they don't have that feeling. They right. don't have that and inner feeling vision, that you have, yeah. Vision is so important, and um, there's a fella, God rest his soul, by the name, we called him Prince. And his attitude was basically that if he was given a song, an idea, that he needed people to do exactly what he was hearing in his head. Because if God gives you a song, and this is very important, I don't care what your opinion is in life. If God says, this is for you, I'm giving this to you, and you allow somebody else's opinion to change it, you say to God that what you gave me is not good enough. But that's it. Go ahead and let's pray this out. I pray out of this so we can go ahead and finish this up. Yes, it's precious, Father. We thank you for this meeting. We thank you, dear Lord, for the ability to touch and agree on your word. We thank you for knowledge. We thank you for wisdom. We thank you for understanding. We thank you for all things in your darling son Jesus' name. Now, dear God, we thank you for all that we have and all that we're going to receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Frank, it's been good. It's been yes, real it has good. Been. It was some yes, good it has inspiration been. stuff. We got to do it again next week. Oh, you yes, already know yeah. that, right? So, oh, yeah. All you got to do is give me a topic. Give me a topic that we're going to talk about, and we'll research it and do it. What we do, do what we do. Yes. All yes. right. Okay, yes. well, until next time, we just want to thank you for being here and being with us and uh, expiring, inspiring us with all your words of wisdom and all your sl slow jazz music, Christian music that you produce out there. So, Mr. Thompson, we just thank you very, very much. And with Bless that, you. we're just going to say amen and amen again because we are Minister Aaron Stanbury and we're here on Mississippi Gulf Coast bringing you the best in gospel music entertainment and talk here on the mississippi gulf coast and as we continue on going down the path that we're going bringing you the best most inspirational there is so that you too can accept the lord jesus christ in your life and have that inner peace that frank was talking about that is going to bring you surpass all understanding so until next time this is our prayer that you continue on the path that the Lord sent you on.